Throughout history, few natural forces have left a deeper mark on humanity than volcanic super eruptions. But how exactly have these colossal events shaped the course of our civilization and altered the path of human history? Today, we're exploring the most active volcanoes, the incredible features they create, and answering key questions as we take you through this journey. Volcanoes form when magma, molten rock from deep within the Earth, finds a path to the surface. As pressure builds, that magma escapes through cracks, sometimes blasting ash and gas high into the sky or flowing outward in glowing rivers of lava. These eruptions carve out calderas and lava plateaus, build new islands and feed hot springs and geysers. While they can trigger disasters, volcanic soils also become some of the richest on Earth, supporting crops and entire ecosystems. When exploring the history of volcanoes, Iceland remains one of the planet's greatest volcanic theatres. Its very foundation was laid by ancient super-eruptions. Some 16 million years ago, a cataclysmic burst from the Icelandic hotspot sent layer upon layer of basalt flooding across the North Atlantic floor, building the island itself. More recent giants, like Hecla's mighty blast in 1104 CE and the great Lachie Fisher eruption of 1783 to 84, darkened European skies, dropped temperatures worldwide, and triggered crop failures, famines, and mass migrations. These events didn't just sculpt Iceland's rugged landscapes, they reshaped climates, economies, and human destinies across the globe. On Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula, one of the most recent volcanic spectacles captured the world's attention, Fagradalsfjall. This volcano erupted in March 2021, marking the first eruption in the region in nearly 800 years. Lava rivers streamed down its slopes, painting the night skies with fiery orange and red. The eruption was a captivating display of Earth's power and provided scientists with a rare opportunity to study volcanic activity in real time. Fagradalsfjall is part of the Reykjanes volcanic system, a region where the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates are slowly pulling apart. This geological activity fuels the volcano, causing magma to rise to the surface, creating new land with each eruption. While the eruption itself was relatively mild, the spectacle of flowing lava and the sounds of explosions were a stark reminder of Iceland's volatile and ever-changing landscape. Even though the eruption has slowed, the region remains highly active and scientists continue to monitor it, knowing that future eruptions could once again reshape the land. Fagradalsfjall is just one example of how Iceland's volcanoes constantly evolve, reminding us of the raw power that lies beneath the surface of this island. From Iceland to the other side of the world, the tropical archipelago of Indonesia, volcanoes are a constant, awe-inspiring presence. Indonesia, located along the Pacific Ring of Fire, is home to the most active volcanoes in the world, over 120 of them. These fiery giants shape not only the land, but also the lives, cultures, and beliefs of the people who live in their shadow. One of the most iconic among them is Mount Bromo. Nestled in East Java, Bromo isn't the tallest volcano, but it's one of the most dramatic, with its perfectly shaped crater, constant plume of white smoke, and surrounding sea of sand. Mount Bromo looks almost otherworldly. But Indonesia is not only home to frequent eruptions, it's also the site of one of the most powerful volcanic events in human history. Around 74,000 years ago, the super eruption of Mount Toba in northern Sumatra sent ash across the globe. It was so massive, scientists believe it triggered a global volcanic winter, lowering temperatures and possibly reducing the human population to just a few thousand. 
October's eruption didn't just alter landscapes, it may have changed the course of evolution itself. It's a stark reminder that volcanic forces, while local in origin, can have global consequences. Other than the eruptions that changed the course of human history, volcanoes have sculpted some of our planet's most remarkable landscapes. Volcanic mountains, crater lakes, lava plateaus, and geothermal features, like hot springs, geysers, fumaroles, and mud pots, are all products of volcanic activity. Volcanic mountains form when successive eruptions pile ash, pumice, and lava high into the sky creating peaks that can tower thousands of meters above the surrounding land. When a volcano empties its magma chamber in a massive blast, its summit can collapse inward, leaving a large bowl-shaped depression. Over time, rain and snowmelt accumulate in this hollow to create a crater lake. Crater Lake in Oregon exemplifies this process. Its brilliant blue, mirror-like surface rests atop a collapsed volcano more than 7,000 years old. Some eruptions don't erupt explosively, but instead produce slow-moving rivers of low-viscosity lava. When these flows emerge repeatedly from fissures, they spread across the land and solidify into broad, flat plateaus. The Deccan Traps of India and the Snake River Plain in the United States are prime examples. Vast regions covered by lava flows so extensive they span tens of thousands of square kilometers. Even long after an eruption ends, residual heat beneath the surface can warm groundwater, producing hot springs, geysers, and mud pots. Yellowstone's Old Faithful and Iceland's Blue Lagoon showcase these ongoing geothermal processes and, in some areas, provide a source of renewable energy. Volcanoes, from Iceland's rugged landscapes to Indonesia's fiery giants, have shaped our planet in profound ways. Their eruptions create new land, fertile soils, and geothermal energy, while also altering climates and human history. As we close our journey, we carry forward a simple truth. Volcanoes are both creators and destroyers sculptors of our planet and shapers of our history. By understanding their rhythms, respecting their power and harnessing their gifts, we turn potential peril into opportunity and ensure that the story of Earth's fire continues to be one of renewal rather than ruin. We hope this journey gave you new insight into our dynamic planet. Share what you'd like us to uncover next. Until then, See you in the next episode.